to work with Gael, I knew, I, I wanted to work with him for three reasons. One is that I knew in a movie with so little dialogues, you really need a great actor to connect with the audience, you know, I really, and Gael is, as a Mexican actor, he's one of the actors I admire the most. Uh, I also wanted to work with him because when I was doing research about the, the theme of migration, I noticed Gael had done lots of documentaries on that subject matter, so... I knew as an actor he was really informed on the subject matter. And Jeffrey, Jeffrey was, he's an actor I really like. Uh, he really, when I met him, I knew he was going to be able to create a scary character, but a character that was human. For me, with Sam, was important to, with the little dialogue that there is to, to create a human monster, because I think that makes him more scary and more real. Was it clear from the beginning that you would make a hunting and survival movie? And what is interesting for you, both of you, in this genre? Of survival? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, since we started, uh, we knew it was a story of survival. And I think what's ni the nicest thing about survival is that in a survival situation it's when all humans are the same you know we all no matter what our backstory is we all want to survive ouais finalement ça me mène la seule je pense que tous les êtres humains connaissent la nécessité de survivre soit dans la nature soit face à un autre être humain je crois que et de nos jours le conflit entre les êtres humains je pense que c'est important à affronter la survie Uh, which scene was the most difficult one to shoot and why? Uh, all scenes were difficult because Gael and Jeffrey were almost always about to die. Uh, they did most of their stunts, so like in that sense, in retrospective, I was very lucky I didn't injure my actors. There was one time when the dog almost bit Jeffrey in the face and I think... That would have been expensive. <laughs> But probably the most difficult scene, the two most difficult scenes were when the dog dies, because that we need, it was very complicated in visual effects. And the other one was when the first shooting scene, because to us it was very important to, to show the violence in a crude way. So it was a scene that we really worked many days on. Oh uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. <laughs> And when the car flips, it wasn't complicated. That one was just like complicated for the guy driving. It was just like drive fast and. <laughs> What is your opinion about these people who want to cross the borders and uh, those who protect the borders with their own methods? Nah. People from both sides. Have I met people from both sides? Yeah. Uh, You know, um, I mean, I think migration, part of the issue is that we see it as a problem and instead of a phenomenon. And I think it's more important to try to understand why the phenomenon happens, which are the problems that are causing the phenomenon, because many times our problems that we've caused, you know, is, a, a, you know, in the, you know, I think it's whether it's environmental or whether it's because of colonialism and, you know, like, You know, it, we've caused people to have to leave their home. No one wants to leave their home to come to Europe. It's not like the weather is that nice. People don't come to Europe for the weather. <laughs> By working alongside your father for you, uh, what the one thing you learned from uh, from him that felt really useful while shooting the you? Well, I think since, you know, we wrote uh, since the Sirt and Gravity are similar in the concept of tension and time, I think probably the main thing I learned from my dad that I always saw throughout the process of writing Gravity also and seeing him watch is this concept of rhythm. You know, I think with tension you have to be very precise with the rhythm and the way you have tension and relief, tension and relief. So, you know, since the script... You read the Cierto and it felt as tense and and stuff as the final, as the movie is. So I think in this movie that's the main thing I learned, this idea of time and rhythm. 
Why uh, Jeffrey Dimogan? I've always li loved him as an actor. I felt that like he could give Sam a human face. He was one of the, you know, as an Amer not that many American actors w would be crazy to be a, to do that role. So, you know, Jeffrey was one that understood the theme and like was, you know, supported the movie and. And as I said, he arrived with the tattoos. He was, the he was Sam.